Hey guys, Old School Brian here, and today I got a pickup video for you. Uh, it's been a while, as always. Um, I tend to start making videos and then I stop. And I kind of get caught up with life, and uh, you know how it goes. Um, I guess since my last pickup video, I've picked up, again, hundreds, a few hundred games, easy. Um, so today I have a, basically I have a huge container in front of me. Oh! It's just filled with stuff that um, that I've bought that I haven't put on the shelf yet. I'm in the process of cleaning it and stuff like that. Um, I actually have a couple tubs like this that I haven't even brought down here yet. So I'll kind of go through this. I don't want to make the video too long, so I'll probably break it up in a couple parts. And I'll definitely post them. It won't be like last time where I broke it up. I bought like 300 Game Boy games and... Uh, I never made it. I made the video, but I never posted it. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. But uh, okay, let's hop right into it. Um, but I, I'm going to be more consistent here on YouTube, so rest assured, you're going to see videos from me. Um, something that I really enjoyed to do, and I kind of miss it. So, all right, here we go. Uh, for the NES, I got a copy of Dick Tracy. Um, front's clean, labels clean, but the back's got writing on it. But I can get that off. Got a copy of Skater Die 2. Um, Quattro Sports. Got this because this is a much better condition copy than the one I had, so I'll be able to uh, swap that out. RBI Baseball. Anticipation. I'm going to kind of run through these. Um, less exciting stuff, at least. Hollywood Hollywood Squares, Spy Hunter, and we got Major League Baseball. A couple of them have writing on the back. Uh, Super Team Games and WrestleMania Challenge. I have a nice copy of for the Super Nintendo Castlevania Five. Uh, so that's a good pickup. Got this one really cheap. Very happy with that. Got a copy of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Picked this up for five bucks. Um, believe it's complete. Yep. It's good. I love finding these GameCube games. I love finding them. Um, got another GameCube game here Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest. Double disc special. Uh, this one is also complete. I have several copies of this game. Always buy them. I got that for five bucks. This, it's actually a cool story behind this, so I'm about to show you. Uh, I bought some games from somebody, and um, I actually bought games from somebody off of eBay. I pretty much shelved everything that I got from them. Um, I got Pikmin 2, uh, Pikmin, a Super Smash Brothers, a Mario Kart Double Dash, Tales of Sif, all, all the good stuff. I got a bunch of good stuff from them. And they threw in probably 10 extra games, which was awesome. Most of them were disc only, um, but it doesn't matter. And some of them were really good games. Uh, but as a bonus, they sent me uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords. Um, complete in the box. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people uh, that collect have the game, but they don't have the box because a lot of people tore the box open back in the day. I actually still have my original box right here. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. It was a bonus. It's awesome. And it was a buy it now. It was posted as uh, the, the listing was a buy it now. And I always search certain things and click new listing buy it now. Um, and it popped up, so I bought it immediately. I got the I got the games for really cheap, and then they get all these extra games for as a bonus. It was just awesome. Uh, I got some PlayStation 2 games here: ATV, Off Road Fury. These are all complete. Uh, I Toy Play. There were just a lot that I picked up. Guitar Hero, Encore, Rock uh, the 80s, and Breeders Cup. Or, uh, thoroughbred. What is it? World Thoroughbred Championships. Um, these were part of a lot that I got. Uh, 
Alien Isolation. I don't even have an Xbox One, but I will hold on to them for when I do. I got another copy of uh, Master Quest Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And so I got two copies. And this is also complete. So like I said, I always pick them up when I see them. Anything Zelda, Mario, I always grab it. Um, for the Xbox, I got Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championship. So I got one for the PlayStation and one for the Xbox. Uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. And this is the double with Tetris Worlds. Uh, I picked this up. Batman the Video Games. Two bucks. Gonna pass it up. Uh, oh, this is really cool. I got... A box and complete, and this is what I'm talking about when I search on eBay, I always click new listings. I picked this up for like 30 bucks or 20 bucks, 20 bucks I think. Uh, Metroid Prime GameCube bundle. Um, it's complete, it was missing the game, but since then I was able to pick up the game. It's still upstairs, I haven't brought it down yet. Um, I was able to pick up the game because the game that goes in here has got a certain type of label. I, I, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. But um, you can't just throw any Metroid Prime in there. So I got the game, so that's complete, and that's really cool because that's probably worth over 100 bucks. I'm going to hold on to it because I really like it. That's why I bought it. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Here's some really old stuff for all you real old school gamers out there. Um, I recently, well, not recently, I guess a couple years ago, I picked up a couple games for the Commodore VIC-20. And... Um, I was able to get the system, and I actually played a couple games that I have, um, so I found some um, some more games for the system. I got probably, I don't know, 20 games for 20 bucks or something like that, so this is a pretty good, good, uh, good deal. I got Mole Attack, Gorf, I actually got two copies of Gorf, and I think one of the other games I have is Gorf, uh, Super Smash. Clowns, Avenger, Home Babysitter, I don't know what that game is about. <laughs> um, these are all really pretty fairly common games, nothing anything, nothing rare or even close to rare, they're all common or super common games basically. Uh, Pac-Man, Voodoo Castle, K-Star Patrol. Radar Rat Race and Raid on Fort Knox. I also got one other game. I don't know. I must have. I must have not brought it downstairs yet. Um, for the Nintendo Wii, I got Lord of the Rings: Aragon's Quest complete. Star Wars: The Complete Saga complete. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of the whatever the heck that is, complete. And I got Medieval Games, complete. That comes with the slipcase. And I already had the game before. This one has the slipcase, and it's in better condition, so I will be holding on to this. I also had Legend of the Guardians, um, but I didn't have a manual, so now I got a complete one. So, got these for like two bucks each. Got a copy of GoldenEye 007 from Nintendo 64. And I have like another 200 games in this box. And I don't know how long this video is because it doesn't say it on the thing. Uh, I guess we'll do a couple more. Um, here's some more. Here's some more old school stuff here. Um, Sharp Shot from Intellivision. Soccer. So, I guess, like sports games. Super Pro Football, Skiing, Baseball. Um, these were all a lot that I bought. Uh, the reason why I bought it is because it was it was like 25 bucks in one of the games in here. Um, Zaxxon, I think Zaxxon's worth like 30 bucks. So it was a really good deal. So I picked it up. I knew no matter what I was getting a good deal. Also got Ladybug. And basketball, Super Pro Football, baseball, Sharp Shot. Got a couple 
doubles with label variations. Um, Carnival. And Tron Deadly Discs. The label's pretty jacked up. Um, I think I'm going to cut the video off there and I will make a part two of this video. It should be up maybe a couple days after this. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been a long time. So thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comment section below what you've picked up lately. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.